It started with a young dentist from the East Coast, Frederick McKay, goes out to Colorado Springs and notices something that he'd never seen before, which is a good chunk of the population had brown stains on their teeth. The people in Colorado Springs said uh, they were used to it, so they thought nothing of it anymore. Um, but he, he decided to try to find out what was causing this discoloration of the teeth, uh, something that became known as Colorado brown stain. It was 30 years later and a lot of investigating before it was determined that it was actually fluoride in the water um, that led to the, the brown staining. Interestingly enough though, along with the, the brown staining was no, no tooth decay. Tooth decay which was very common, everyone had it, everyone had it severely. People with fluoride in the water didn't have um, tooth decay. So that led uh, further investigators to start looking at, well, is there a balance of fluoride in the water that can prevent tooth decay, but not cause that brown staining? So uh, investigators started going around the country because fluoride naturally occurs in, in water. Most groundwater has some level of fluoride in it. Most has very low levels of fluoride, but some like Colorado Springs had very high levels. So in a, a series of studies over the course of the next 20 years, they determined it was about one part per million, a very small amount of fluoride that um, prevented tooth decay and uh, had a very small percentage of kids uh, still had a very uh, light uh, discoloration of their teeth. Instead of brown, it was very faint white, and this was called dental fluorosis. So the balance was made, and in 1945, they started an experiment. Uh, they paired cities. Uh, one city, they started adding fluoride in the water. Uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan was the first, uh, paired with a city that had no fluoride in the water. It was so successful after uh, five years that uh, about a 60 to 65 percent reduction in tooth decay in children that uh, basically they stopped the experiment and other cities just started uh, adding fluoride to their community water supplies.